George R. R. Martin's acclaimed wildcard series is coming back into prominence. But just what the hell is wildcards anyway? Wildcards started as a tabletop board game played by Martin and his collaborators like fellow editor Melinda Snodgrass. In fact, the team enjoyed playing the game so much that they worked on a whole bunch of prose writing for the game, including um, short stories and novels as well. Really, Wild Cards became a shared universe of prose fiction. Marvel Comics is now working with Martin in the Wild Cards team to adapt a brand new comic book series explaining the beginnings of that universe. My name is Ariko Braddock, and today I wanted to take a few moments to go ahead and dive into Marvel Comics Wild Cards Drawing of Cards number one. If you like learning about wild cards, why not go ahead and subscribe to the channel? In fact, Wild Cards is currently in development as a TV show, so this information could be even more useful than you actually think. And while you're here, why not go ahead and smash that like button for content that you aren't going to get anywhere else on the internet. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in to the debut series. Here is a first look at Wild Cards, Drawing of the Cards, number one. This book is written by Paul Cornell with art from Mike Hawthorne, inks from Adriano Di Benedetto, Colors from Ruth Redmond, and of course, Wild Cards is adapted from stories by George R. R. Martin and Howard Waldrop. The credits also cite additional material adapted from people like Kevin, Kevin Andrew Murphy, Melinda Snodgrass, and Wild Cards consultant Raya Golden. Now, let's talk about the debut issue of the series a little bit. Uh, the debut issue of the series actually shows us Wild Cards Day, which takes place on September 15th, 1946. Wild Cards Day happens to be a day where a virus is released airborne in New York City that affects thousands of people globally. Now, of the people that die, not basically 90% of the people who are infected by the virus outright die, whereas 9% become jokers. These jokers are people who show some sort of mutation, typically in a physical way. Now, the remaining 1% either become aces, people who have lots of powers, or deuces, people who have minimal powers. Typically, aces and deuces also don't have a kind of negative um, reaction to the mutation. Based on my limited understanding of the series so far, I've read that there's tons of status quo changes that happen later on kind of in the wild cards narrative, but this is at least where we're at right now with this debut issue of the series. So when the series starts off, it goes back about kind of three weeks um, before Wild Cards Day to really set up and explore how the airborne you know, virus spread throughout New York City in the first place. And that is where we get our opportunity to meet Dr. Takian. And my apologies if I, if I didn't pronounce that right, but Dr. Takian is a really interesting character that guided me through um, this Wild Cards issue when I had to go back and research and, and find more information. Because as good as this debut issue is, and as good as some of the prose writing is, I really got stuck when it came to some of the concepts, like what I was explaining to you just now with the airborne virus. I really had to go back and, and read and, and find more information on that. So the charisma from, from Dr. Takian and the rest of the characters kind of really helped me um, fall in love with this first issue of the title. Also, the art from Mike Hawthorne here cannot be understated. Um, this is such charismatic and, and such expressive art. There's so much detail in every single page, and it makes these fictional locations like Planet Takis really feel like a real and palpable place. The more the issue kind of gets um, deeper in, it really explores the origins of how this virus got there in the first place, and it also starts to establish um, some of our lead characters in the series, um, like the protagonist um, known as uh, Jet Boy. 
I really enjoyed, you know, how this issue um, started to develop over time. I really hope that going forward, you know, Marvel will continue to adapt um, this entire wild card series, um, you know, issue by issue. I really want to see the whole um, title kind of play out here. And I really like how they sort of kind of visually update um, some of those character designs from the first wild card series, um, because this title is actually decades and decades of years old. And there really is sort of a new like visual look that Mike Hawthorne and the team at Marvel put on the series. I, I, I think it looks great for the modern day and really just enjoyed seeing um, you know, how this title started to develop over time. I really liked the direction that we found for this new Wild Cards title. I'm excited to see more of our heroes start to develop. I really want to learn more about Dr. Tachyon and really kind of see where his motivations are and where his allegiances are. In the first issue, um, writer Paul Cornell definitely establishes that he has a conscience and doesn't want to do harm to the humans. So it'll be very curious and kind of interesting to see how the series develops over time. I want to thank you guys for checking out the first kind of review of Wild Cards. This was actually my first exposure to the franchise. It took a lot of research and a lot of dedication, but I feel like I at least have um, some of the beginning grasps of the series. So tell me, do you have any experience with Wild Cards? I know this is a story really kind of going back decades in like tabletop RPG form and also, you know, in, in prose novels as well. If you have any stories about Wild Cards, go ahead and sound off in the comments and let me know. Also, what are you looking for me to go ahead and cover next? Um, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for coming to check out, um, you know, this debut review for the first issue of Wild Cards. I really hope that we see more, and I look forward to providing you with a lot more comic book news in the future. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye.